Hey everyone and welcome back to Secret of Mana. We've made it back into the Mana Palace, or as it's referred to some places, the Grand Palace. So I'm not sure which one it is, but either way, we're back inside, and let's continue. We're gonna hit that <laughs> heck hound. Wow. Uh, actually, I was gonna hit him with Dark Force, but before we do that, let's drain him. Enemies that you can get MP off of are fewer and far between here. Uh, but that should be good. Let's go ahead and blast him with the Dark Force. Oh, 515, that's nasty. Hey, get back here, chest. Hey. Oh, Doom Trap. That is not nice. Water. Pure water. Thanks. All right, these swords can be somewhat nasty. They typically aren't, but every once in a while, they'll kind of go crazy and beat the crap out of you. But normally, they're not too bad. The reason they're not too bad is they normally just miss, but when they do hit, it can be quite devastating. All right, so uh, there is a top level here, but we'll deal with that in a bit. Let's go down here. All right, so here's where we need to be somewhat careful. These little imp gremlin guys are nasty, and almost none of the spells really work well, except for burst. So you want to burst them down. Now, try to... Oh, I was going to say try to move around because they do tons of damage. But uh, I did a bad job of the whole moving around part. Let's see. Dryad burst. At least my burst is level 5, so it's hitting pretty good. Two casts is all it takes. That's, that's very good news. Otherwise, this could be quite rough. Before he can get up and react, he gets smashed again. 225, he's done. Hopefully we can do the same to him. And down. All right, so they're not going to be too bad. Two burst casts. That's all it's going to take. However, MP situation is not great. Not too bad though. And we can solve it right here. Luna, help me out. Fourteen, that's not bad. Hopefully we can get some more. There's some royal jam. Alright, so let's go in here. I don't think you can drain these swords. But let me try. So if you can, that'll solve some problems. Oh! She actually did get some magic from that. Well, perfect. In that case, we can do some Dark Force. All right, now this book right here, this National Scar, which is a really weird name, um, it can drop a helmet, and I believe it's the only enemy in the game that drops this particular helmet. So if you're going for all the trophies, you will need to potentially farm these. Hopefully we'll get one just naturally, because there's quite a few of these books in the dungeon. Uh, but if not, we will have to farm it. Oh, 
Oh, he put up a wall. That's rude. That's right. They're not that difficult. And they spawn the weak little imp guys, not those nasty gremlins that we've been fighting. So, kind of a pushover. Alright, Prem, help me out. I need to know what to cast on this. Gnome magic. And gem missile will do the trick. Heard a sound in the distance. All right. Let's go ahead. Oh, he's gonna say we'll drain that wolf thing again, but he's gone. Hopefully, I got enough MP. Suppose they're a good way to level up my uh, magic here. Although I've leveled it up pretty well. Oh! Well, we should be able to finish him off with something like a bow. Let's we'll switch to the bow. Oh! I want the bow! There we go. Hey, last is a 51. Uh, let's go ahead and top everyone off. Water. Well, really just Pope Boy. Water. Take that. Ooh, that was a good hit. That's gonna finish him. And Prim's at 51. Alright, one more of these guys. Critical hit! He's done. Right, we're done with this. Back to the soul. Dark force. Oh, yeah, that's starting to hit real hard. Okay, more swords. Smack one of them with dark force. Two eighty nine, not bad. Okay, another book. Uh, we can start with a drain. Whoops, that's not a drain. Well, not much, but something. Sweet shades at level six. Well, since that's six, I suppose we'll go back to leveling Dryad. All right, what do we have here? Dean's magic works. Freeze it is. Freeze. 
Heard a sound in the distance. All right, well, these again. Oh, and I didn't hotkey my burst. Let's go back to the bow again. Man, I was landing some nice crits. Forty-seven. Not bad. Forty-nine. Suppose we could finish him this way. Hitting consistently, at least. There we go. And sword. These things crack me up. Turtles with a jet boost, I like it. More like jet roller skates. Alright, well, we did find out we can drain these swords. So let's do that. Friends burning, but I don't really care. Oh, look at that! Luna's at level four. Sweet. Not sure if Dryad really hits these for any decent amount of damage, but apparently it does. Jeez. Kind of turned into the Popoy game. Popoy just destroys everything. Oh, hi, guys. How's it going? They are being rude. I can't seem to hit that one. Oh, whatever. Let's control Popoy. Get Popoy out of danger and burst. Is that not hitting it? What is. Are these bugged out? What's going on here? Well, let's attack this one, see if we get better results. I don't seem to be hitting them. Oh, that one over there died. Screw it. Here's another burst. Stranded my mana. I don't care. Oh, well, it's dead anyway. Ah, oh, but it used my MP. That's rude. Well, whatever. Um, while I'm here, we will mana drain that heckhound. Oh, hope we got left behind. Uh, I think this will still work, though. Let's see. Popoy, jump over! There you go. Using those hacks. Wow. 
This is gonna hurt that thing big time. It's weak to burst. Dryad's at level six, and it smacked it for 797. I thought it'd be more. All right, well, let's go ahead and drain again. And actually, I think I should probably level up some of my original magic. It's kind of falling behind. And I think Gnome might be my lowest. Let's find out. Let's take a look. Yep, Gnome's down at level three, so we're just gonna start using Gnome stuff. Assuming it actually does some damage, because sometimes it doesn't. But let's see. On 15, we can live with that. Uh, let's go ahead and hotkey that. And we'll switch back to Lasser with the bow. got swords again. Speaking of swords, I'll switch to my sword. And of course we're gonna drain some men. Oh, that was a huge hit. National Scar takes a critical hit. And he's gonna drop my helmet, I can feel it. Helmet for me! I put up a wall. Cheater. Oh, I got excited. Very walnut though. All right, we need an analyze. Sylphid's magic works. Sylphid, we can do. I heard a sound in the distance. All right, well, may as well switch to my bow now because I'm going to need it. Oh, well, maybe not. Never mind. Back to my sword. That sword is hitting hard. What's weird though is it only seems to be hitting hard on crits. The non-crits are hitting pretty weak actually. And Gnome has leveled up. We'll keep using it though because I believe it's still tied for the lowest. Hey, level six on the sword. And Pop Boy leveled up. Evil Gate. In his death throes, he brought out this imp. Uh, let's get rid of the heck hound first. 
burst both of these and I keep hitting the wrong button. All right, so Dryad burst you. Lasser is going to switch to his bow. And we need to burst the dude in the back. Wow, I got one shot it. Uh, there it is. First. How much a gym missile hits them for? Let's find out. Whatever it was, it wasn't much. Three, third, two. All right, we're gonna get another chance for that helmet. So far, it hasn't been very uh, lucky for me. His books are being stingy. Weird, I thought that was the one that was high health. Well, oh well. Take that! Wow, 390? Is that from my sword or the spell? Must have been from my sword. Just got rocked. But, no helmet. Oops. Salamando. And that's just a fireball. Get him, Salamando. Fireball. Oh. Well, I missed him, but oh well. Not important. Alright, come on, book. Give me my helmet. And you know what? Let's mana drain. It's bursty time! Burst for you! That'll probably kill it. I'm gonna go focus on this one. Ooh, 
a big crypt. Alright, um... Let's see, we can go... Down, I thought. Yep, yeah, here we go. I'm trying to remember the layout here. I think this might actually be an empty room. Let's find out. Oh, nope. This is a uh, room we need. And uh, we'll start with a mana drain. Hopefully we don't have to farm these things. I think I've got like four or five chances left from just clearing out the dungeon normally. Something like that. And no. No luck. The helmet is really freaking good, too. And Prem Sylphid Magic is level 4, and Lumina Magic works here, so we are going to use that. Lucent Beam. Heard a sound in the distance. No way. Tis the end. What the? Uh, how the heck did Pope Boy die? <laughs> did I just have her low health and not notice, or did this guy one shot me? So confused. Anyways, I have a revive under Lumina, or not under Lumina, under Dryad. No, no big deal. Three fifty seven, it's getting better. Gotta be careful with those heck hounds, because apparently they can one shot Pope Boy, or possibly. I don't know. Something weird. Let's just go ahead and top everyone off. Royal Jam won't fit. Got too many. Uh, I think it's time for another mana drain. Mana drain is getting quite potent too. Sword orb. Sweetness. Um, what the heck is in here again? I don't know. Actually, I think this room is an empty room. Yeah, it is. So, this one isn't, though. 
All right, I know where I am. All right, book. Give me my helmet. Yay, and helm's at level five. What are we working on next? Let's go find out. Whoops. Let's see. Um, I guess Salamando then. I figured he was one of my higher ones. It's a bit surprising. I thought I used Salamander a lot. Apparently not. And no helmet. Shade's magic works. And that's gonna be Dark Force. Dark Force! Heard the sound in the distance. Drain him, po boy. Drain him, good. Oh, well, the answer here. We can deal with this. Uh, I keep calling them imps, but they're gremlins. Whatever. They're dead. That's what they are. I think he actually just died. Yep. Prem's at level 53. And Popoy's at 53. Oh, we can kill this again. Why not? How much does a fireball hit a sword for? Two or one! Alright, so that up there is another empty room. On the left side is the same scenario. So what we need to do is go up those stairs. Ah, frosted, double frosted. Rudeness. Actually, it didn't do any damage, though. Little peculiar. He's dead. He got smacked down. Ooh, 764. Chocolate won't fit. All right, well. We can fireball both of these. Apparently, it one shots them. Oh, well, maybe not. Well, whatever. Still does good damage.
No one shot? Really? All right, I'm gonna work on him. Oh, that'll finish him off. And that guy should die to this one. Okay, and then I got my bow out, that's good. Because we gotta deal with these gremlins again. Well, we don't have to deal with them, but I will deal with them because they're good experience. The burst fan. All right, so we need to hit this lever. And you can't drop down, so uh, we can kill this really quick. Actually, let's go ahead and drain it. Oh boy's getting a little lowish. Whoops, that's the wrong one. I love having unlimited MP, it's just fantastic. And Salamando level five. Well, I think my lowest is Luna now and I can't really chain cast Luna, so that's a work in progress. But as for my next magic, um, screw it, let's go back to Gnome. Gnome was working pretty good and he's only level five. So Gnome it is. Although I don't know if Gnome is going to hit these very well. Oh, 339, that's not bad. Something died. Ah. Alright, we're gonna do these gremlins one more time. I don't need this bow anymore. So let's go back to the sword. Let's go kill this turtle. He deserves it for some reason. Down he goes. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. I'm not very smart. I meant to go down this way. Oh, whatever, we can just run past these. All right, we're in here now. I don't think they actually follow you, which is kind of funny. No, you put Pope Boy on fire. So rude. Hot, hot. Yeah, I'll just carry it. Why not? Why not? Alright, 
Okay, this is where I where I intended to go. These are those turtles I was beating up just a little bit ago. The book put up wall. I forgot there's a book there. Sweet. Well, that imp's casting on me, but I'm not too worried about it. Can't really do much to me. And I know that book has wall up, so we're just gonna have to melee it down. Stop spawning imps! Unless the imps are gonna wear a helmet, then you can spawn as many imps as you want. Come on, helmet. Die and then helmet. Stupid imp, get out of here. No helmet. Sucks. Four twelve, he's done. Um, should probably drain him. Although I do have lots of fairy walnuts, so even if I somehow did run out, probably wouldn't be a big deal, but... Oh well. Hey, another book! Glasses at level 54! Evil Gate. Crimson at level 54. And Pope Boy is 54. So many enemies. But it's a fantastic place to level magic. And if it wasn't for this, I'd probably end up just having to farm it on stupid stuff. So I'm glad for that. Gives me an opportunity to level up my magic while actually doing something quasi difficult. Let's hit roller skate turtle. 
because I think that sword is just about to go down. Yep, down it goes, and there goes the token. Right, so we want to hit that, and we want to come down here and hit that. And off this one. Switch to the bow. How dare you summon buddies? No. Ooh, one shot him. Swords down, and this dude should be down. Why are you not dying? Fine, eat that. Alright, so unfortunately in the next room is our final book. So if this doesn't drop the book, we're gonna have to farm in a little bit. And look at that, Gnome's level six. I'll switch him out for something else. In just a second. Hey, my whip's level six. Sweet. All right, what are we going to this time? Well, I guess we'll go back to Salamando then. Salamando it is. All right, come on, book. Hook me up with that sweet helmet. Wow, did I really just hit that for 455? Oh, never mind. That was my fireball. Either way, though, that's still ridiculous. Ow! Well, there we go. I told you these swords can hurt. And they finally demonstrated. Alright, book. You know what you have to do. There is an awesome helmet. And you're gonna give it to me. Oh. All right, well, let's take care of this first. Luna's magic works. Uh, it's actually the mana drain, if I remember correctly. Magic absorbed. the sound in the distance all right so um we're gonna have to farm this unfortunately so obviously you just exit the room and then you go back in i wouldn't bother with the turtles although you could and while i'm farming i'm also going to continue working on my spells and potentially my weapons leveling up as well hopefully i'm not here for too long but I don't know exactly how rare this is. On my practice profile, I did end up just getting it naturally. Uh, but obviously that didn't work out so great here. But it shouldn't take me too long because my fire spells work really, really well against this book. Slams it for 233. Pretty much two casts of this thing. It should be done. So if this one doesn't drop it, we'll just skip the video forward. And unfortunately, nothing. So, yeah, we're gonna skip forward and uh, come back whenever we pick up that helmet. Huh, I picked up a guardian ring. I don't actually know what that is. That might be something new. Uh. 
Finish this guy off first. Maybe he'll give me my helmet. No. Alright, what is this guardian ring? Let's see. Oh. Looks like I already have it. Alright, no, that's different. That's a gold bracelet. That's a guardian ring. Well, better. So let's put it on. Alright, well, I got one upgrade at least. Still working on that helmet. Oh, I finally freaking got it. I don't know how many times I killed that thing, but it was a ton. Uh, so let's take a look. Um, well, the best indicator would be Popoy's magic, so if we look here... Okay, whoops, pressing the wrong buttons. Uh, so if you look at her magic, look, Gnome's level 7, the rest are pretty much all level 6. And I think I gained five levels or something like that I'm level 57 now so I was here for a while it sucked but it's finally over oh and let me show you this helmet because it's freaking awesome so let's see I think I'm gonna put it on Popoy because Popoy is squishy and this will make him or her indestructible uh, defense and magic defense is gonna go up well defense goes up by 65 magic defense by 64 that's a ton so let's pop that on. Alright, uh, so, continuing on. My brain is, like, melted at this point, so... Hopefully I don't do anything too soon. And you can see I'm using my, uh, Trident thingy. It's, uh, not the best weapon. For some reason, the weapon skills level up super slow. I was level up, leveling up the magic pretty quickly. But I only got one level on my spear, I think it was, and this thing still just barely go- Oh, actually, it's almost level 5 now, but yeah, these weapons take forever to level up. So that's gonna be a tough trophy, or at least a time-consuming one. Alright, well, let's see, I need my whip. And I'll just keep leveling up Popoy's magic, why not? Hitting so ridiculously hard now. And we can bust out the bow. The boom, 341. Actually, let me uh, finish leveling up this thing. Seven twenty six. Brutal. Oh, <laughs> what was that? That was terrible. So yes, if I didn't say it earlier, very very important that you get that helmet while you're here because I don't believe you can get it after this point. So if you progress past this point, you don't have the helmet, no trophy for you. Also, I forgot. During that grind, I did pick up another one of those rings. So let's put that on. Those seem to drop from those swords. Um, so, Popoy definitely doesn't need it. Let's give it to Prim. This one right here. Okay. How has this not hit 100% yet? Did it level up and I just didn't see it? Whoa. I feel like it must have. How could it take this long to get 1%? Let's see, has this really not leveled up yet? What's going on here? Huh. What the heck? Hello? Level up. I think there must be something like broken with these weapon level ups. It's just going way too slow. I feel like something's wrong. Maybe 
Maybe it's another ring. Nope, couple wishes. Alright, so we need to hit that. And then that. We'll open this up. Uh, and just blow that up with a fireball. I suppose I should get my bow out. Well, I'm not too worried about that javelin thing not leveling up. Don't know what's going on with it, but it's just being stubborn, I guess. Whip it! I should probably mana drain. I actually can't. Oh well. I'm gonna save the uh, MP that I have here. We're just gonna take these down with melee. Because I'm potentially gonna need that MP, although I kind of doubt it because I'm just gonna be hitting so freaking hard with my magic. But we'll see. Maybe I actually do need it. Let's test out the waters. Alright, so for this, make sure your fireballs are ready. You're controlling Pope Boy. Because you're just gonna need to kill this thing as quickly as possible. Oh, actually. Yeah, okay, I'm in the red spot. So. Hit this. And here we go. It's a boss fight. And it just constantly sucks in your teammates. Like so. That sucks. Oh, and the spell didn't even work. Alright, hold on. Let me go back to Pope Boy. The controller. And we'll do a heal. And we'll hit it with fireball. So it's just going to keep doing that. And as you can see, when he spits them out, it does some serious freaking damage. But my fireball just hit him for like half his health. So that's pretty ridiculous. So if you have strong fire magic, this is going to be very, very easy. Kind of easy either way. You just have to be prepared for it. But he's dead. Obtain the Javelin Orb. Oh, and then actually didn't heal up Lazar. That's rude. Pure water. Something's not right. The Emperor. He's dead! What's going on? <laughs> I love how he's supposed to be. I love how he's supposed to be dead, but he's standing. Well, the Emperor's dead. Right in front of the mana seed, too. You made it. You're the one who betrayed the Emperor! I'm afraid so. Now that we control the Mana Fortress, we control the whole world. Who's we? Thanatos. Aha, the children are back. It has been a while. What have you done with Dylok? Is he safe? Of course. I wouldn't want anything to happen to my new body after all. He does not owe you an explanation. Sir, please head to the fortress. I will get revenge for Sheiks and Gestar right here and now. Goodbye, pests. Oh, no. Let's get an analyze. Pygmus Glare. It's going to midget somebody. Although, apparently, it didn't work. Oh, never mind. It worked. What is she weak to? Oh, I don't think she's weak to anything in particular. Alright, let's use the mid mallet. Get Prim back up to normal size. And we'll just destroy her with magic. I'm thinking Dark Force. Dark Force seems to hit it pretty hard. Plus, I've never used the Dark Force on her that's this strong. Whoops. Yep. So I imagine it's gonna hurt quite a bit. Yeah, 288. That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal for a 2 MP cast. 306. 
<laughs> hit her for six because she's wearing that awesome helmet. Oh no, one damage, it hurts! And she goes down. We got some level ups. Obtained a whip board. Why? Yes, Chuck, you survive. You could say he is and isn't, yes, Chuck. I used ancient magic to create a living machine. Now, my faithful servants can serve me in death as well. You're the lowest of the low! Alright, so I've never tried this before. Um, he puts up a wall, like, right away, but I'm thinking I might be able to get one spell in before he does, and if I can, it might hurt a lot. Because once he gets that wall up, it's all melee and it's going to take forever. So hopefully we can at least get some damage in quickly. Let's find out. Oh, 418, yes! Alright, so I'm going to just cast Burst as many times as I can get it in before he gets his wall. Burst again! Hopefully he keeps just riding around and not putting up wall. That would be fantastic. Burst again! Yes, keep driving. Driving's working great for you. I don't even know if this is the best- Ah, oh, crap. Well, that's gonna hurt someone. But well, either way, we just shaved off a ton of time on this fight. Unless we just got creamed by my spell. Oh, and he goes down. That's it. We're getting back up with the resurrect. Where is the hiding? This one. Revivifier! Oh, Revivifier? Doesn't sound right. Glass is back in the game. And let's see. What's his best weapon again? I don't remember. His best weapon is sword or whip. I'm thinking whip. Whoops. Wait, what? Oh, I'm using it? Oh, that's right. I was thinking I had something else on for some reason. Alright, so like I said, we shaved off so much time on this fight by just blasting him with those bursts. We shouldn't have too much health left, but he takes forever to kill if you don't start with those, uh, magic spells. You just be whacking away at him for like 20 minutes. It's ridiculous. It's probably still gonna take a little while though. And back and forth he goes, not doing anything particularly scary. Then again, he is a zombie. Or zombie-like. So, I guess we shouldn't really expect anything too intelligent, although he did the same in life. He also uses that diffuser cannon, but it never seems to do much of anything. Ah! <laughs> 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 
I really thought those spells would shave off a ton of time, but not really. I think they were hidden for like 400 to pop. Got in like, what, four of them? Five? Something like that. Even my best crits only hit for like 200 it. Or just shy of it. I would like you to die. Explode on your bike. I don't know what they were thinking with this one. Let's give him wall and make you hit him for like zero damage. And give him a ton of health. It'll be awesome. All right, there we go. And we got the trophy, defeat Mech Rider 3. <laughs> Obtained a spear orb. They activated the mana fortress. The whole place is gonna sink. Alright, we fly up and then back down again. Are you alright? The troops barely managed to get away. We failed to stop them from reviving the fortress. The sword is not yet restored. The mana beast will soon appear. The world will fall in the crossfire between the beast Fortress. But we must not give up hope. Remember what Sage Jock said. At the edge of the world, you'll find a sealed realm known as the Pure Land. Usually it's hidden under a cloud of mana fog so dense you couldn't even fly. But now, the fortress is consuming the last of the world's mana to power itself. The barrier around the Pure Land will have gotten weaker. You should be able to reach it. The seeds you've been using to restore the sword are part of the mana tree itself. You should be able to synchronize with the tree and bring the sword back to its full power. It's not over until it's over. We'll find the Pure Land. No human has set foot in that realm, so you must be prepared for anything. All right, we gotta find the Pure Land. Before we do that, let's talk to all the people here. The Emperor was betrayed by those he trusted. It's ironically tragic. We've stopped the Emperor, but the world is going to be destroyed. What's the point? Oh, I... I said some awful things. Forget it. I know you weren't yourself. You couldn't help it. Seeing you and Dialogue together, I... I got jealous of your happiness. Thanatos used his power to manipulate that ill will inside me. Please, forgive me. Pamela, look at me. We will always be friends, okay? Well, Pamela's back to normal. I hope you get Dialogue back as soon as possible. But Dialogue, still not so much. Strength back. Gave me health I didn't need, and no mana. Thanatos and his loyalists double crossed the Emperor. What could he be planning? 
Some of my men are waiting inside. I guess you gotta it's go. Uh -huh. We're counting on you. Make sure you have everything before you leave. I have so much money from all that farming. Okay, well. I believe the Vambrises are better, but I'm not positive with that new ring I picked up. The Vest Guards are definitely better, so we'll take three of those. The Needle Helm is not quite as good as the Amulet Helm, so we're gonna get two of those. Anything else? <laughs> All right, so let's put this stuff on, see where that leaves me. Uh, so let's see, Dragon Helm replaced with the Needle Helm, big upgrade. Then we're going to the Vest Guard, another huge upgrade. And let's see, so we got the Guardian Ring there, and oh wow. Yeah, Vambrus is immensely better. Alright, so she's already got the Amulet Helm, let's put that on there, and we'll need another Vambrus. Needle Helm for Prim. Chest piece. And we'll need another bit. I guess you gotta go. Make sure you have everything be Anything. And half a million GP to spend. And I didn't even sell my extra stuff. Alright, so Vambrus. Vambrus. And Vambrus. Sailing on the ocean blue! Oh! If it isn't my friend from the sand ship, it's me, Sergo! The other guys all escaped on Admiral Mary's ship. Now that the ocean's calmer, ships have set sail. Even Maury's had a change of heart. They've got him swabbing deck for now. Okay, so. That was a long dungeon. There was a lot of grinding involved uh, off recording, but we got through and uh, we're pretty much ready for the Pure Land. I believe, however, that we need to finish up everything else we want to do in the game before we go there because I'm pretty sure it's a point of no return. So I'll look into that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure we need to finish up other stuff. And there's definitely some locations I have not visited. Two that come to mind, and there's probably more. I haven't really looked around too carefully. So, we'll be handling that on the next video. We are done for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.